Hey, what is up guys, Stover here, bringing you another high-level Halo Wars commentary today. We're going to be playing on 14 against SG Mythic, Velocity, and Quantum, and they'll be running Anders RB Brute, and I will be playing with BH on 2 Legit and Limits, and we'll be running Forge Brute RB on 14. So uh, we were playing a couple customs a few days ago, because uh, that's pretty much all anyone does anymore in, the, in this game. Um, and we were just running some try-hard customs, and uh, this is one of the games. Uh, they're all pretty much fun games. Uh, they're quad For those of you that don't know, Mythic Quantum Velocity are all uh, kind of players that don't really play too much anymore. Quantum Velocity kind of uh, quit. Not really quit, but they, they stopped playing pretty much uh, for the most part anywhere from about a year ago, I would say. And uh, Mythic maybe in a little more, but uh, Mythic's come back. Mythic's a guy that comes back every uh, every couple of months and pretty much plays some games and then leaves again. Uh, but yeah, they're all pretty uh, top tier players. Uh, Quantum is a really good brute. Velocity is a really good arbiter, and uh, Mythic is mainly an arbiter player, but he's also a really good arbiter in threes. Uh, but this game, Mythic's gonna be they're they're gonna be running the leaders I said, except for Mythic's gonna be the Anders. Uh, just because they needed a UNSC player, and I guess Velocity uh, didn't want to run UNSC this game. So, um, yeah, so Mythic's going to be their UNSC. And, uh, yeah, they're, they're all really good players, though, and uh, it's just having a good old custom game here. So I guess to get into this game a little bit, I'm going to be going Temple 3rd. Limits is going to be going... Did he? Yeah, he might have gone... Oh, he went Temple 3rd Brood, I think. Uh, oh, yeah, well, for those of you that don't know... Limits, uh, Limits' is, uh, idea of how to play the Brute is Temple first 90% of the time, Temple second 0% of the time, and Temple third 10% of the time. So Limits this game opted for Temple third it looks like uh, because he and about that taking Temple second life like uh, pretty much everyone else is. And uh, it looks like they're going to be going double offense. He didn't really scout them out uh, too early, I don't think. So this is a little bit of a, I mean, not a surprise, but uh, I mean... We just now know that uh, they're both on offense, and now Legit has to go on offense because you don't want to play defense with Hollows against an RB and a Brute. You just want to go on offense and, offense and try to make the RB recall. So uh, I build a Grunt. I'm upgrading all my pads, and I build a Grunt. Um, luckily, they're not hitting me because I have three heavies. They're going to have to hit Limits' uh, base that has no heavies. And uh, I'm just going to have the money to rage all these Brutes. That's something that you have to really uh, pay attention to is to make sure you have enough money to kill all the Brutes that poured in. Uh, so I pretty much had just the right amount to kill all the brutes after dropping in a suicide grunt uh, into Velocity's Arbiter. And uh, now he's uh, his Arbiter's um, a little bit weak, which is going to help out if we can try to like kill him with the hogs or something. If he recalls, he might be weak if I throw another grunt into him. And uh, Quantum is just keep continuously putting in brutes. I think that was the fourth brute he's ported in. And uh, so far, all he's done with them is deny a pad and weaken, uh, like really weaken another pad. And uh, I'm just going to continue to build suicide grunts. And uh, my main, I want to try to land at least one grunt into the chieftain and uh, maybe another one into the arbiter uh, to make him really weak. So I'm just going to be slapping the chieftain uh, because, I don't know, I, I'm just slapping the chieftain <laughs> instead of the RB because he's the one porting in brutes. So limits went up on offense to try to uh, hit the UNSC because uh, we're forged this game. Uh, I don't know if I mentioned it. I think I did at the beginning, but uh, yeah, we were forged this game, and tanks really suck in threes. For those of you that don't know, Goss is by far the best unit of choice. Even even against double RB, you still want to be going Goss, because Goss is just overpowered in threes. Because the maps are so big that you can hit in so many places, and Goss is so fast, and tanks are so slow, and uh, just all that stuff. So we, we kind of got, so legit just felt like uh, we, we were running a lot of Anders and Mirrors because both teams were just going Goss every game. So legit decided he wanted to run Forge just for the fun of it to see if we could make some tanks work. So uh, yeah, we're going to be planning on going into tanks this game. And obviously since they're Anders, they're going to be going Goss. And uh, it's going to be a struggle because going tanks in threes is definitely uh, not the best. <laughs> Um, but yeah, that cheat. I landed another grunt into Velocity's Arbiter that ported out my base, and 
uh, Chilo Jet says he has a tank almost out or, or something. So I'm going to let that cheat in. I'm going to leave that cheat in for uh, Chilo Jet to handle. And I'm just going to run over and try to uh, kill Velocity's Arbiter before he kills my pad. He might recall. But uh, yeah, he does end up killing the pad. But I luckily, I do end up killing his Arbiter before he gets to recall. So uh, that's pretty good. Too legit doesn't have any tanks to worry about. He does not really have to worry about his tanks getting raged down the second they pop out of his base and all that kind of stuff. So uh, at some point, me and uh, Limits was hitting the UNSC base, the Anders, to try to slow down Goss. But uh, the Anders I had pretty much all heavies. So he really wasn't doing too much. I think he got an upgraded Vortex to this game. And uh, me and Legit wanted Limits to move over to hit a Cubby because if we let them get on quad, some of the air would get pretty much out of control, especially since we don't have any Goss. Uh, I'm really good at raging, so I missed uh, that hog. Um, so it's just going to run away. But yeah, I'm just going to be, since they're going to be trying to go quad summit this game, uh, Limits is denying one of the summits on red, it looks like. So they are going to be on triple summit Banshees uh, between the two Cubbies. So I'm going to be uh, throwing up some pretty early turrets uh, and upgrading my the last few of my pads and trying to basically go into vampires without any tech on my RB. Uh, a lot of people run into the mistake by teching their RB way too early. You really don't need RB tech when you're on defense or even when you're on offense and they're on, like, not Goss. Uh, because an Arbiter is pretty OP and you, you don't even need Fiendish, really. You can pretty much get a solid, when you play Arby, you really only need to get a solid eco, and then you can start teching your Arby once you have like four or five heavy supply pads. Uh, so yeah, I'm just running over. I missed that Warthog because I'm really good at this game, like I said again. And uh, <laughs> and uh, I'm just going to be running back and forth between Expos. Uh, they ended up not clearing the Expo I went to initially. Um, yeah. So uh, yeah, they had this Expo. I can get here right in time. The base was almost finished. And uh, I make them DQ and kill a hog. So now I'm just going to sit my uh, Arby here, my non tech Arby uh, at this base and be able to just deny it. Um, because they, they all they have is are really hogs to push me off. Limits is still looting birds because the Arby is dead and they don't really have much to push it off. And here you can see all purples banshees. Luckily, I do have two front turrets up uh, to try to help deal with that a little bit. Uh, and too legit built some Wolverines in order to help push off uh, this early Banshee spam. And he's just going to come over and help me. I'm just saving up into Vampires uh, in order to try to get the Vampires under control, uh, in order to try to get the air under control just a little bit because Limits is nowhere near Vampires with all his, uh, yeah, he has zero upgrade supply pads. And he's getting a summit up. He did get double hit by both the leaders. So, um, yeah, he's just not close to Vampire, so I basically have to get into Vampires as quick as I can. And I am doing that because I have five heavy supply pads and I didn't waste any money on taking my Arbiter. And uh, I was considering buying this base over here because if you buy the base, it's really, if you buy that ba the base on their side and get a shield on it, it's really tough for them to kill it, which is Goss, because they pretty much, own, the only opportunity they really have to actually kill it is when your Arbiter dies and they have to go straight to it and hope they can kill the base before your Arbiter gets back out to recall and try to kill everything once again. So uh, it's really annoying when that happens, when people buy, when the, like, the Arbiter buys the base on your side and your Anders. But yeah, um, I have a Vampire now. Uh, these two front turrets, even though they don't really do much, they didn't really go to waste because they are going Goths. So eventually I would probably need to either shield or build turrets. So I already have the turrets up now and I don't have to worry about that later. And now since I'm single pumping vampires, I do have some excess money in order to pump, uh, in order to uh, start teching my RB because I'm only single pumping. And uh, now they are on Goss. I'm sure they're on Goss. They've probably been on Goss for a little bit. I just haven't been paying too much attention to um, the Goss, the hog tech. And Limits' brute is still on offense. He just died, it looks like, and they had to rebuild their Arbiter in order to get it all off. And uh, now to legit is trying to get an expo up. And I'm just uh, pretty much sitting here. Uh, I'm pretty sure they have the base by yellow cleared, uh, a Goss base over there. So I'm starting to rage run all the way over, but on the mini map, I just saw a little bit of yellow, and that's coming back here to try to grab this base. So I was going to go all the way over, but instead I have to turn back around, and I'm going to try to uh, get the hog while trying to micro my vampires to keep two of its tanks safe. Uh, even though he does, does have two Orines, the vampires really do help. Uh, and deterring the air from hitting uh, the tanks and the base and all that stuff. Looks like Velocity's Arbiter is on offense, uh, trying to kill two legit tanks. I'm pretty sure he landed some cannies. Um, I don't think he killed the Arbiter, uh, but I think he did land a decent amount of cannies. 
And yeah, uh, the Arbiter is Red Bar now, and uh, he really can't engage three candy tanks uh, into Wolverines with a Red Bar Arby. Uh, I'm Rage running over. I see the base is up on the mini map, but first, I really didn't want to show where my Arby was because I could maybe catch some Warthogs, but instead I see two Suicide Grunts and they're just too good to pass up, so I decided to Rage them down, get a little bit of extra health so he can't use those. He's probably building those and uh, to drop in on the base and try to grunt it down real quick and then recall or run away or whatever. But uh, yeah, I'm going to be running down to where the triple would be uh, just to make sure because I think the hogs, because uh, the hogs were probably, uh, might have been there clearing out that base and I could have gotten a nice little catch on them. Um, but instead I'm just going to run to this base and I think it has zero pads on it. Yep, it has zero pads on it. So this is going to be an easy base kill, especially since I just hit a tech two Arby. And uh, I'm just going to rage it down. Um, I could have just slapped the base down, but the long, but uh, if I took the time to slap the base down, they maybe could have like cry with my RB and ran in with a bunch of hogs, but uh, that's a that's just a situation that could happen. But instead, the hogs I see right now are all on offense. Legit has more than enough tanks to deal with uh, the hogs, and I'm gonna decide to run up this alley. And uh, looks like Limits has been doing a good job building a couple banshees to help keep down bases. Uh, they do have the base at the bottom side of the at, at the south side of the map. But I think Lewis's base Banshee's gonna deal with them. I'm gonna I was gonna run up the alley to try to ca sandwich the Warthogs that were running away from two legit tanks that are chasing right now. But instead I'm gonna try to angle my Arby uh, running to the middle of the map in order to catch the Warthogs. And uh, I'm just trying to smack anything and I end up hitting the Rebel. And uh, I'm just gonna keep running my Arby. Right now we're in a pretty good spot because we do have a UNSC Expo and they are on no Expos. And uh, yeah, we have a pretty built up UNSC Expo that's almost a full station. So this is looking pretty good, even to the point where Too Legit feels comfortable pushing with his uh, maybe like four, three to five, probably like four to five uh, candy tanks and two Wolverines. And uh, I have a Tech 2 RB to assist, and Limits has a couple of Banshees still just trying to keep down Expos and check out where the Expos are for me. There's a Warthog over here. They do have the Expo over there. Um, since I'm only one Arbiter, I can't really keep down both Expos on both sides of the map. I just have to do my best to... Uh, deny them as best I can and now I'm going to do what I said earlier that I have the money to and I have a fully teched Arbiter I'm going to try to take this Expo on their side uh, in order to be because that'll be a pretty big nuisance to them if I can get the shield up on it and uh, Legit's just healing his tanks before we go in for a push we're thinking we might want to go hit purple and uh, we're thinking we want to go hit purple and maybe strip them or something and uh, but instead this, war this pesky Warthog is back here so I'm going to run all the way back to my base and I think Legit's even going to come help uh, try to kill this warthog, and we're gonna try to secure the ba uh, secure this base, uh, so that way uh, me and Legit will both have expos, and they will only have a UNSC expo, as far as we know right now. Uh, the arbiter is on offense, so that's pretty good for us since we're pushing our tanks right now. Uh, he's probably gonna be forced to recall pretty early. It looks like he's trying to maybe um, maybe he's trying to like slap down or drop in some sueys on. Limits his pads or something. I, I can't really tell because I'm not looking. He might even be raging down his base with a Tech 2 RB, but um, yeah. But we're going to be pushing, and uh, Velocity does have a shield, so that's pretty unexpected. I don't. Um, I, I really wasn't expecting him to already have a shield, but I guess since Myth Mythic was forced to expo on the wrong, on uh, pretty much a bad side, because like if you expo where I. If, oh, the, if uh, Mythic would have expoed where. I have my base, then uh, Velocity wouldn't have had the shield because the tanks would probably hit the expo before the cubby base first, so you would pretty much know what's coming. But uh, yeah, since he has a shield, we're going to go over and try to start hitting Red's base, and they're going to drop a cryo and pretty much fail cryo, and we make the RB really weak. Um, I think we might even kill the RB, I'm not too sure, but uh, they dropped a cryo and a D bomb, so that's really good for us, and I have the shield up on the expo. But uh, the only problem is now Too Legit is being left alone to fight the Goss, the Air, the Goss, the Air, and he already killed the Arby. And uh, he's just going to lose everything. I was going to send my vampires in uh, to help him, but pretty much everything's already dead. And there's really no point of sending my stuff in to just die with his stuff. I'd rather just save um, all my the little bit of air that I have rather than sacking it into pretty much saving nothing. But I do have, I did get healed now. And uh, I'm going to run back in and try to kill some Warthogs. The Banshees did spot me, though. They're going to my Expo, and they now know that I do have a shield on this base. But I'm just going to send my Vampires back and continue raging with my RB and try to find some Warthogs. Another option I could have done here is uh, Rage run up to uh, Red's base, and since he doesn't have a shield, I could have raged down his base. 
Um, but my main priority right now is getting all this air off my base uh, and not get clipped. That was a little close right there, but luckily I didn't get clipped. Um, so it looks like the Goss is pushing on offense, but I think Legit has enough tanks to deal with it. And the Goss is running away, probably running back to get a triple um, by where the two yellow bases are. If they don't already have the triple up, we, I haven't looked over at it yet. And uh, I'm just going to walk my RB and just look for hogs. I'm, uh, <laughs> and then the RB comes up and Legit pretty much has no tanks. And uh, I was going to build an engineer to heal this base because I didn't want to have Legit heal the base too. Um, but instead, the Goss is pushing, the RB, the RB is pushing, and now, all of a sudden, Legit has no tanks. Pretty much. I think he might have power turret. Uh, I'm not too sure we have power turret yet. But the point is, we were just looking to be in a really good spot with two base, two expos on it for us and only an UNSC expo for them. But now, we all of a sudden lost all of our tanks, and they, their purple guy's getting an expo up right now. Their UNSC is probably on a triple base. Um, and I sold my expo. Now we have a fortress expo down here that they're going to try to start to strip. Uh, pretty much they can do this just because they have some Gauss and one Tech 2 Arbiter. Uh, it just shows you how bad uh, you pretty much have to, if you want to win with tanks, you pretty much have to make zero mistakes the whole game. You can make one mistake, but you really got to bank on them making a couple mistakes to make up for your one mistake if you want to win with it. So I recall my Arbiter, and I'm going to do my best to kill all these Warthogs. They already dropped a D-bomb back on our push, um, which I just recalled out of and got a heal. And now that we do have Power Turret, I see we have one tank helping me. I am really weak. There's a bunch of weak Hogs, though. I'm just going to do my best to kill as many of these Warthogs as I can. And I leave them with, like, maybe five Warthogs um, on our side of the map. And we have a tank. We are trying to deal with the air with our Vampires. Um, but, yeah, they have a Tech 2 RB and, like, five Goss Hogs. And we can't really push it off uh, because my RB died and we have like one tank, maybe. Maybe we might even have zero tanks right now. Uh, so yeah, it's amazing how just six or seven Gauss Hogs and an RB can pretty much keep you from defending a Fortress Expo uh, on your side of the map. Um, so you can see he just has some Gauss shooting the main base and we're, we're, we, really, we really can't go down there because there's an RB lurking, a Tech 2 RB lurking and it's not that hard to kill a tank, one tank at a time, with a Tech 2 Arbiter. So we really can't do much until my Arbiter gets out or Legit gets a couple of tanks stacked up to go down, and looks like Velocity is raging down to Legit's tanks again. We send the Vampires over to try to uh, defend my base from a couple of Banshees. And now me and Limits feel like we have air lead, and we have to do something to try to pull this Gauss back. So we're going to decide, we're going to go try to bully uh quantum's base uh, we're gonna try to maybe drop the summits uh or something and um then we might try to strip but uh we'll see what happens so the arbiter is still alive we have like one tank left that's really weak i come out i'm gonna try to kill this rb but since we're both in rage glitch and he's running and velocity's running a straight line i'm doing no damage trying to rage him and he's gonna end up just getting the tank i'm gonna keep trying to rage him down but he's just gonna recall as you can see right there but luckily we do save limits is uh, two week pads. Uh, so I have to run over and try to uh, help kill the Goss. And, but it looks like the Goss is just running away. So uh, that's unfortunate. I, I, I'm not fast enough to catch up to those. And uh, when I look back, uh, so the RB did recall and limits decided, uh, limits ain't about stripping, uh, just like he ain't about table second, he ain't about stripping bases. Uh, so we're aiming main with our vampires on this base. Um, and uh, yeah, uh, it's gonna be close whether we can get it or not. Legit just asked me, just said that uh, he was poor, so yeah, he because he, he's trying to double pump tanks on a single base now, and I'm like, oh, you're poor, so I sent him six clicks. I sent him uh, eighteen hundred of my dollars, so he only got like what uh, twelve hundred or something. But yeah, he's like, he's like, I need some money. I'm like, okay, here it is. <laughs> So uh, now he has more than enough money to double pump tanks on a single because of how many clicks I gave him. Um, and you can see now uh, that Mythic does have that triple base. He probably is on triple station right now. His main is probably a fortress, though. And um, so fortress double station. And we're going to go up here, and I'm going to try. And we did end up dropping a D-bomb. Uh, too Legit did drop a D-bomb uh, to save our vampires from getting all raged down by the RB. And uh, we're going to push everything up, my RE and a couple of tanks, and we're going to keep sending vampires over because we really want to get this base because we pretty much just sacked all of our air into killing this base over here.
And uh, I'm, since there's a deep on there, I'm just going to try to stay outside of it and kill all the Warthogs that are trying to play defense. The RB is really weak, and I'm going to try to kill that too. He dies to my Fiendish, I think, or uh, maybe a tank shot. I'm not too sure. And uh, I'm just trying to raise some supply pads now because it's pretty tough to hit the center of the base. Um, so maybe I can try to hit the center of the base. But then all of a sudden, the Warthogs from the back, I didn't realize he had that many in the back. Uh, they come around, and they're here in the base. They had an engineer, and I'm going to be forced to recall. Um, so, yeah, we pretty much just lost all of our air. We have we lost all of our tanks. We are double pumping tanks on a single, um, double pumping vampires, and I think Limits is uh, either single or double pumping vampires. I'm not too sure. Sometimes he single pumps vampires. And, uh, yeah, and now I'm just getting a heal on my RB again, and they, they are looking to be in a really good spot. They just killed everything. Once again, we have, like, very few tanks. The only thing we have going for us is I have this expo on their side, and other than that, uh, that's, uh, there's really nothing that we have going for us besides the expo on their side. And uh, even then, Purple has a fully built expo now, and Yellow is still on a triple base. And uh, we, we really can't get an expo. Because the Goss is just the Goss and Air and Arby are just too OP. So we're just gonna be just double pumping on a single as best he can for a while to rebuild his tank numbers. So I'm gonna be raging around trying to find out. Um, oh, I think now at this point in the game, I was gonna rage run up to try to uh, start raging up for, uh, Red's base again. But I believe his shield did get back up. So there's really nothing good for me to kill. I'm just walking my Arby in circles. Um, trying to maybe find some warthogs that are randomly going somewhere. Uh, there's really no reason for the warthogs to be going where I'm walking right now, but uh, I'm just walking around trying to find hogs. Or, uh, or I'm waiting for them to basically push uh, while I'm just double pumping vampires, trying to get some air lead back. Um, the one good thing is, though, that they are both on shields and they are going goss, which is a little bit weird because normally the team that's building tanks are the ones forced to shield up, but instead it's the opposite. Um, they were scared of us like tank pushing and maining down a base. So they ended up both shielding while me and Limits are both non-shielded. Um, we both don't have shields and they can easily push up to our base of Goss. So that's a little bit of something, I guess. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, now we have a tank engagement. Uh, Legit does have six PT tanks now, and I have my RB with them. They do have a bunch of Goss in an RB, though. So uh, Legit's aiming down the RB while I'm trying to aim down the RB as well to try to help kill him. Because if we can kill the RB, we can kill all the Goss together. And uh, he uses cannies right here, right when the RB latches onto me. Uh, he jumped, across the, he jumped uh, across the terrain and latched right onto me the second Legit uses cannies. Which is just kind of stupid, but I'm going to be able to, I kill most of the Goss right here and I catch the rest of this Goss around the corner when they're getting caught on a corner and I get another hog. And uh, I just dropped a lot of hog numbers with my RB. And, uh, but both of us now have weak RBs. We didn't lose too many tanks though in that engagement and he did lose a lot of Goss. So that probably did go well for us uh, in the end. Looks like Limits took the base um, by by Too Legit, and uh, now Too Legit is actually going for an Expo 2 since uh, we killed so much Goss and the RB is weak. We feel like we now have the opportunity to kill, um, to to start taking Expos. And since they do have, uh, since we don't know where the Goss is going, and it's pretty late in the game, I'm finally going to cave in and build a shield um, on my main base, and it's really not going to hurt me too bad because I have the Expo on their side that is also a full Citadel. I think I have two shields on that base because uh, with two shields on that base, it's really going to be tough for them to kill it. And uh, we'll have a lot of time to push elsewhere if uh, yeah, if we want to. Uh, so we are going for a push now because we killed so much Goss. They did push a couple of Hogs to limit this Expo, but I think my Vampires ended up killing them, Limit said. And, uh, yeah, we're just going to push up and kill this triple base. We uh, Too Legit is not canning because he knows the RB is probably lurking and just waiting for him to use the cannies on this base. And there's really no need to use cannies on a station base with full pop power turret. It dies quick enough anyways. And, uh, yeah, I'm getting to a... We, we do have a lot of vampires now, so we, we might have air lead at this point. Because our mean limits of his vampire numbers are both looking pretty good right here. Um, so yeah, they are pushing. They are pushing more hogs, trying to keep down a shield on that base. I think. So I told limits uh, since we we should just send our vampires back and pick down the hogs. Uh, since we have so many vampires, uh, they are more than sufficient to keep the one or two hogs off the base. And uh, I'm just gonna keep my RB with the tanks 
uh, to try to be a to try to deter the air from coming in. I'm running down the alley a little bit, trying to find the warthogs. Uh, they since they might be coming back. But uh, here's the air. There's a cryo they just dropped, and uh, yeah, and I'm sure the Goss, the RB, and all the air is gonna be down here any second. And there it is. So I'm gonna be raging anything I can. There is so much stuff. My RB is all of a sudden red bar. The tanks are just uh, like all cryoed. Uh, I think they're all targeting down my Arbiter, so I just pretty much die right there, and it's not looking too good for us. We do have a lot of tanks here, and we are forced to drop a D-bomb. Um, so yeah, we d he does get some nice candies on the RB, but of course he doesn't die. He's just probably just going to walk out red bar. But uh, initially, me and Limits were going to pull back with our air, uh, because we thought it was too much stuff. But then we decide we're finally going to engage their air with ours, because they are building Banshees at this point, and we went double Vampires. And we should be able to win this air engagement despite them having Goss, just because we have so much, so so much overwhelming, vamp so many <laughs> vampires between the two of us. Limit should be almost full pop at this point, and I have anywhere I have like 12 or 14. Yep, 12 vampires. And uh, the tanks are sitting under it, trying to kill the Goss, while me and Limits both try to stasis all the air, and it's looking like it's going really well for us. We have the stasis. And uh, our numbers, my numbers are really high right now. Limits, I believe, said his numbers are still really high. And uh, they're, they have a bunch of weak vampires, and they're being stasis still. So, even though I lost my RB in that engagement, and uh, and we had to drop our D-bomb, this ultimately ended up being a really good engagement for us. Uh, we, have a de we, have a lot of, we have a decent amount of tanks on their side of the map still. Maybe four, like five. I, I see five right here. And uh, we can continue pushing, uh, ultimately, even though it looked really bad when they dropped the cryo, my RB died. Um, but by us going in and starting to, by, and by us going in and stasising the air, ultimately we came out on top in that little engagement. And uh, yeah, and we're going to end up being able to kill their triple base, and it looks like they're trying to take the base, another uh, Goss base right down there, but I'm just going to send my RB through the teleporter while we try to poke it down with vampires, and while the Goss tries to kill our vampires... I'll be able to rage run down there and try to kill as much goss while the tanks try to sandwich them. <laughs> um, so, yeah, that, that's exactly what's going to happen. <laughs> so, uh, this is a pretty intense game here. Um, yeah, it's pretty it's pretty crazy how difficult it is to win with goss uh, in this game, and or with tanks in this game in threes, um, just because, like, you have to have everything. You, you have to make so many good decisions with tanks in order to make it work. Because Goss is just so much faster and does so much DPS. <laughs> and if you don't go Goss in threes, you're asking for some hurt. Uh, you're asking for some losses. Uh, so we're going to be pushing up. We already dropped uh, both UNSC Expos. So we're going to be pushing up to Mythic's main and trying to uh, start to drop that. So I'm just going to rage run up. We're pretty much going to do the same thing. The vampires are going to hold back a little bit while the RB and... Tanks are going to push up and start to try to kill the base. I told Legit that we should probably kill this reactor because a cryo comes back every three minutes. And uh, that's actually really fast for a cryo to be coming back. And cryos can change an change the entire engagement. Um, so since we killed that reactor, he, he can't drop a cryo even if he wanted to. Because that was probably his only tech. And we do kill the Arbiter right there. And I'm going to switch rage modes and uh, try to start raging this air off of us. Um, our vampires are still just holding back a little bit. Looks like limits is that vampires are clearing out another expo for one of us for somebody to take maybe. And uh, yeah, we're just going to continue stripping this base. It looks like we're finally going to send our vampires up and try to get the stasis off while I just get into rage and try to rage as many as much air and goss as I can because they, at this point in the game they have to come back and try to deal with us because they're going to lose their UNSC base if they just base trade and two they don't have enough bases to really base trade us right now. Um, so yeah, we're just going to be sitting up here trying to kill the base and we're getting some reinforcement tanks on their side of the map. And yeah, their base is pretty weak. And since it's so weak, they're probably going to have to come in like right now if they want to try to save this base. Um, but yeah, the base is going to end up dropping and we're just going to end up, uh, pretty much just winning the game right here. So, uh, I do have a couple, uh, we did play like six or seven custom games, try hard custom games against them. And, uh, they were really fun games. So I might post another one if you guys enjoyed, um, but thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this 3v3 game, and I will see you guys next time.